what's up guys I'm back with another video we're gonna go over and how to root blue stacks yes there's a new version of blue stacks it's uh I'm sorry I accidentally closed but we're gonna be loading it up real quick and go and check out what version it is um the current version of blue stacks is um why is it not appearing I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not exactly sure why it's not appearing down there but Weird. Blue stacks front and go to that version. Zero point nine point fourteen point four six zero four. So this is a this is a brand new version. We're gonna be using the same tools we've been using before. We'll also learn how to create and expand the partition. Well, or we will make the file size of the system partition of BlueStacks bigger, we will root it and we will add more RAM all in the same video. So what we do is we go to BlueStacks Easy with the custom, this is my own custom version of it, so I know it looks horrible, but um, I edited some things into it, so it's better-ish. <laughs> but anyways, as you can see, um, it works out pretty good. Like it's already right, enjoy it. It's all ready. So we can, what we do is just root auto detect installation 0 0.9 rooting. You can either use method one or t or two or three. Only use two or three. Don't use one. But two or three is the best method. Now we press proceed. It will close BlueStacks and just let it go, and it will finish it off for you. So we'll just wait. Okay, so as you can see, it's doing its process, and that is my phone. <laughs> but as you can see, it's rooting it 2,241 blocks. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you how this rooting process works because I really don't know, but um, right now we can't be using BlueStacks easy at all for this entire process until it's done. But I've already confirmed it and it actually does work. We'll also test to show you that it's still rooted after um, after expanding the file size. So while that's doing its stuff, we're gonna go ahead and go to OS, Program Data, BlueStacks, Android, and then this is exactly where we wanna be right here. So, Basically, we're going to leave this folder open. If you don't know how to show hidden files and folders, all you're going to do is click this, show. And it should show hidden. There we go, show hidden files and folders. Click on that button, click apply, OK. There you go, you can actually see program data. It's literally right there. The BlueStacks and Android. Make sure you stay there because you're going you're gonna to need to be there. Okay, let's see what's going on. Closing console and what is the rooting state? Finishing up, okay. Starting BlueStacks. Mm hmm. And uh, it looks like line. Do, 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 do. Okay. It looks like. Okay, it looks like it's been finished. There was an error with um, BlueStack, so I'm, I'm not exactly too worried about it. I'll send the error to the developer of the of the guy who roots this thing. But as we can go on, click OK, OK, click the home button, click OK. I'm sorry, it's really laggy. Maybe it's because it's not enough RAM. But we're going to go ahead and click agree, OK, verify root. Remember forever, allow, and it's been successfully rooted. Now technically we can just go ahead and close BlueStacks now. 
we're going to go ahead and add file storage. We're going to give it 32 gigabytes for the data, and we're going to be using spar cefs, not .fs. Never use .fs. It takes forever. And spars is a dynamic file storage. So we create both. So both your um, SD card and your data folder will be both the same size. So output, copy that. Go to Android. Go ahead and quit out of BlueStacks. Go ahead and get rid of this and this. Control V. Close both. We can go ahead and uh, enable more RAM. So I'm going to give it three gigabytes. Change memory, as you can see, three gigabytes. Right now given. And basically, we load up BlueStacks, and it should load up faster since it has a lot more RAM. I don't know how to get rid of that yellow dot people, I really don't know. But if the, these methods don't work, you can always try to go to other and try it through here. This is another method that they give for KitKat. Or use the uh, exposed installer in case that works. You can, you can try this if you want to, but this is up to you. Um, you don't have to mess with anything right here. Um, you don't have to mess with. Um, I wouldn't really mess with any of this stuff here unless you actually want it to be uh, edited. And I want to change the resolution here. I just keep it as it is right now. And it should be running a lot cleaner than before. Oh yeah, there we go. A lot cleaner. There we go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and verify that it's still rooted and then it'll show you how big the file size is. It should be about 32 gigabytes. Verifying root. Remember? Allow. There you go. It has been successfully rooted. Now what the last step is to um, check to make sure that there is a lot of storage space. So we go to advanced settings, go to storage, go to, and there we go, 31 gigabytes, 31 gigabytes, and you get full, you get a crap load of storage. <laughs> but anyways guys, hopefully this video is very useful for you guys. I'm sorry it's lagging, but it's mainly because I'm, I'm running on a lot of processing right now, so that's why it's using a lot of memory. I will see you guys later. Hopefully this was helpful. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye.